welcome back to my channel as you all know this is an overall motivational channel i talk about the law of attraction self-love self-care healing from past traumas money saving tips couponing pretty much whatever i feel like talking about is what i'm going to talk about on my channel my channel has no limits i talk about weight loss pretty much whatever this is an overall motivational channel so my goal here is to inspire motivate as many people as possible to live the life that they truly deserve so thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing with that being said this is going to be a law of attraction video um, and this is this video as you can tell by the title is going to be about how my husband manifested his dream car so to start out um, I do have a simple quick video explaining um, what the law of attraction is and if you have not watched that video you can tap this eye right here and so I'm going to be telling you guys how my husband manifested his dream car okay and so first off we started learning about the law of attraction in 2017 okay and this was um, during a point in our lives where you know things weren't going like we wanted them to go and you know how they say if something um if you don't like something then change it okay and that's what we decided to do and also another thing um if you guys hear like a sound go off and on it's my husband's car doing that um i'm currently in his car right now and i'm parked at this park so once i'm done um explaining to you guys how he manifested his car i'm going to get out and i'm going to just like walk around it and show you guys how it looks so if you hear something go on and off it's something with his car i don't this is a sports car y'all and i don't know anything about cars so whatever it is it's something back there so just to let y'all know okay so yeah we started learning about the law of attraction in 2017 right we started implementing the steps to manifesting the things that we want the things that we wanted and we are still manifesting things now and I am proud to say that we have manifested quite a few things okay this is huge this manifestation for my husband is huge and the reason why it is huge is because you know this wasn't his like this wasn't like he wasn't into sports cars like in the beginning he wasn't into sports cars he was more into the um the old antique car um just like older model cars he was in he was into those cars but you know the thing that changed his mindset from um from from believing that he could actually have a bmw i8 was you know just believe it like the the key is to the the key when you're trying to manifest is to act is to actually believe that you are capable and you are worthy of getting whatever it is that you want no matter how big it is like i don't care like if you want to manifest a million dollars it is possible and it most definitely can happen but there are some steps that you need to take in order in order for your manifestation to you know fulfill itself okay so i have my journal right here um so if you see me looking down this is what i'm looking at because i want to make sure that i don't forget to mention anything um so i have right here seven steps and this is what the law of attraction states uh, some people have more steps some people have less steps but right here i have seven steps to take in order to manifest um the life that you want or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest so i do have seven steps here but i am going to add another step okay and this is going to be the first step okay and the reason why in my opinion i feel that this step is the most important is because this is this is where where things start okay and that's and that thing is mindset the first way to manifest anything that you want in life in my opinion i feel like you need to start with your mind okay because you cannot in my opinion you cannot start completing these steps and you have a negative mindset okay you cannot start completing these steps if you don't believe in yourself so if your goal is to um do these steps in one day and then you're looking for it for whatever it is that you manif you're trying to manifest if you're looking for your manifestation to come true tomorrow then no it doesn't work like that okay 
manifesting what you want takes time and i truly believe in order for your manifestations to um actually come come quickly the place to start for your manifestations to like happen in a quick amount of time i feel like you have to start with your mindset like you have to start with the mindset. okay like start reading personal development books start finding ways to stay positive more than you stay negative okay now this is one book that i would recommend and i absolutely love this book i am reading it reading it again and i am going to continue reading it until i master everything in this book and the name of this book is the game of life and how to play it by florence scoville i think i pronounced her name right i don't know but the game of life and how to play it that book is a life changer i'm telling you just read it and it's a short read like you can finish this book in in a day so i highly highly recommend reading the game of life and how to play it that was my first thing that's what i think that you should start with your mindset you know just at least take okay so they say it takes 21 days to form a habit go 21 days with just you know trying to reprogram your mind um from negative to positive um take 21 days to read personal development books you know just just kind of like get your mind prepped so that when you start these steps you won't get discouraged because what you're trying to manifest hasn't manifested yet because what you have to understand is people manifest at different times so i can sit up here and i can manifest something and it can happen tomorrow you can manifest something and it can happen a week a month six months a year from now it does not mean that your manifestations aren't going to come true it just means that maybe there is something within you that you still need to work on in order to make those manifestations come true okay so that was, that's the overall first thing that I would suggest doing before starting the rest of these steps, okay? The second thing that my husband did was he got clear on what he wants. So what you need to do is you need to get clear on what you want. You need to be specific. So with my husband, my husband wanted this car. This is a BMW i8. So, of course, when he finally discovered that this was his dream car, he did not know the specifications that came with the car. He didn't know what the interior looked like or what the exterior looked like. So what he did was he started going on the internet and he started, you know, researching, looking at YouTube videos, trying to find out more details about the car so that, you know, when he write out um, the type of car that he want, it's specific and then the universe knows, you know, what he, what he wants. So be specific on what it is that you want okay you have to know what you want you can't just say oh you know um i want to manifest a car what kind of car what color car okay what kind of car what color car how does it smell um how do you feel like you have to already you have to make it seem as if you already have the car okay so that's that's the second thing the, the third thing that my husband did was he asked the universe. He let the universe know what he wanted, what type of car he wanted, all of the specifications. He let the universe know that he wanted it. Now, there are plenty of different ways that you can communicate with the universe. Um, whoever you consider as your, high, your higher source, so universe, God, source, whatever. There are many, many ways that you can communicate. What my husband did was he meditated. So whenever he would meditate, he told me that he would visualize himself riding around in his car. He visualized driving down the highway in his car. He visualized where he would park his car. He visualized himself washing his car. Um, you can also write the universe a letter. So like I would say, just get a journal or something and then write out, dear universe, and then write down what, you know, what it is that you're trying to manifest. You can do that. You can also just sit to yourself and just think just sit in a quiet place and close your eyes and just think about it about what it is that you're trying to manifest you can also talk to god talk to god talk to the universe you know just go go somewhere quiet i always suggest go somewhere quiet and just sit down and talk out loud and just let god know what it is that you want okay that is what those are some of the things that my husband would um would do okay so let the universe know all right that's the that's the third thing okay the fourth thing is take action 
you have to take action in some kind of way for whatever it is that you're trying to manifest okay so in my husband's case what he did was okay so you know so I'm, if you guys have a car you know the process of getting the car okay so what my husband did was we had to make sure that his credit was right right he wanted to make sure that his credit was right so that he could get the best interest rate for his car okay credit is right he wanted to have a certain amount that he wanted to drop on his car as a down payment so he took action and he did things to save up for that started looking on the internet started looking on youtube looking up um looking up how his car is you know just looking up just like different videos on how the car works he started searching around for places that sold like bmw dealerships that sold bmws he started searching around for places like that he started looking on the internet trying to see what the prices were um for his car okay so you have to take action in some kind of way because what what him doing that did was let the universe know that hey this is what i really want so i'm going to do everything possible in order to get this right and in my personal opinion i feel like when you start taking action action you are meeting the universe halfway okay yes the universe already know what you want and he's going to get it to you but if you take action you're really signaling out to the universe that hey this is what I want. I know this is what I want. Okay? So meet the universe halfway because in my opinion, I feel like that speeds up your manifestation. Okay? So he did that. He took action, y'all. He took lots of action. All right? Okay, so that was the fourth thing. The fifth thing that my husband did was he just completely trusted the process. Okay? Because if you truly know that you are going to get whatever it is that you are trying to manifest just trust the process. whole process you know when my husband finally found um the car that he wanted at the right price he had to um he was called he contacted some dealerships and you know just kind of like you know trying to see who would give him the best interest rate possible and all that different types of stuff there were hiccups within that within that process because like there were different things all i know is that there were some hiccups when he was trying to get the car but when things like that happen because there's a chance that things can't like obviously things can go wrong so if by case that if by chance that happens you want to make sure that you are okay with that okay and my husband was just that he was okay with the little hiccups that he had because it was like something just you know kind of like trying to deter him from getting the car but I just feel like those are tests okay those were just like tests to see if you can if you can handle this pressure you know so he did experience something that some of that but it didn't it it just motivated him even more so you want to make sure that whatever you whatever you go through during the process of you trying to manifest what you want just just be okay with it trust the process just go along it's a journey go along with the journey the next thing is to acknowledge what is being what is being sent to you along the way and what i mean by that is the universe is always sending you signals the the universe is always sending you signs for my husband he always he saw a lot of synchronicity 111 222 now this is this is one thing that really really just let him know that his car was on the way so where we live we live in a small town so you will not as long as we've lived up here and we've this year we've been up here for like eight years you will not see a sports car ride around here like a, like a like a luxury car we have not and you will not see that this is such like a small town and within this area you're just not going to see see any type of car like that riding around okay and so one day we were at walmart and my husband had went in and as he as he was coming back out to the store my husband saw i don't know i forgot what kind of um uh, car he saw but it was a luxury car and he was like did you just see that i, I cannot think of what kind of car it was y'all but he was like did you just see that car i was like no what kind of car was it and then he told me the name but i forgot y'all he told me what kind of car it was. I was like, wow, what, what is that car doing out here? And he was like, I don't know. He was like, but you know what? That is confirmation for me that my car is on the way. So the universe will send you signs like that. But you have to be, your mindset has to be right. And you have to be so aligned to the, to the fact, 
to the point that when things like that happen, you know. So the first thing, so the first, so that when things like that happen, you will know that what you're trying to manifest is on its way. And those are the type of signals that the universe would send to you. I'm telling y'all, y'all have to pay attention to signs like that. Those are signs. We never see sports cars like luxury sports sports cars. We never see sports cars where we live. That day, my even though I didn't see it, my husband saw it, and he know his cars. He saw that car and he was like, you know what? I'm telling you, my car is on its way. He said, I don't know how I'm going to get it. I don't know when I'm going to get it, but my car is on its way. So I'm telling you, you have to make sure that you pay attention to the signs that the universe is giving you because the universe is always giving you signs. You just have to pay attention to them. Okay. And the next thing you want to do is you want to increase your vibration. Okay. You cannot be walking around here every day and you cannot be having a negative attitude. You cannot be spreading negativity into the universe. Okay. Does life happen? Yes. You know, things happen. But you want to make sure that you are, for the most part, always on a positive vibration. So the things that my husband would do is my husband he he loves music so he will listen to what what like whatever kind of music that he listens to he will listen to that those that type of music to keep his vibration up um there were there are mornings when my husband would just wake up and be like today is going to be a great day today is going to be a great day you know and you want to you want to make sure that you start your day off saying things like that just start your day off with positivity because i guarantee you the rest of your day will be exactly that positive uh, what else would he do he would just just wake up with so much energy um even if something did happen like you know we own a business so every now and then we have hiccups in our business but through all of that my husband he always 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 kept a positive attitude so you just want to make sure that you keeping you're keeping your vibration up at all times literally at all times keep your vibrations up because when your vibrations are up and you are super aligned then it helps whatever it is that you're trying to manifest come quicker and these are facts okay my husband is a is an example of that so increase your vibration y'all like would listen to meditation like i said meditation is the best thing that you can do when you are experiencing stress depression meditation go straight to meditation you want to make sure at all times that you are keeping your vibration up okay and the very last thing my husband did was he cleared all resistance okay and what i mean by that is he was not focusing on how he was going to get the car he was not focusing on where he was going to get the money from to put down to purchase his car he was not focusing on oh what if they don't what if they don't have the exact color that i want he was not like when you do things like that when you focus on things like that it hinders your manifestation because you you don't need to that's one thing when you're practicing the law of attraction you do not need to know why I mean, you do not need to know how something is going to happen. You do not need to know when stuff is going to happen, where it's going to happen. You do not need to know none of that. That is not your business. That is for the universe to handle. The, your, your main priority is to know what you want. Let the universe know. Take the re take take um, Start following the rest of the steps. And I guarantee you, your manifestation will come true. He did not worry about anything. He knew. When I say my husband knew that he was going to get this car he knew it like and that's the thing when you're manifesting something this is how you know that you really really want something because there would be times that my husband would say man like randomly throughout like randomly throughout the day he was like man i'm telling you i'm going to get that car that car is already mine he said i'm going to get that car before 2019 is out i am going to have my bmw i8 i'm telling you that and when he would say it, it would just be with so much emotion like he 100 percent knew that he was going to get the car at that time he didn't know how though he didn't even have the money for it at that time but he said i am going to get that car and guess what he got it there will be times when we used to walk to the um dumpster to take out the trash and i'm telling you my husband would literally say he would choose a parking spot out there and he would be like 
that's when my car is going to be right there. I can already see my car sitting right there at that parking lot. Just sitting right there. I can already see it. And now here's the thing. So, on, so because we created our vision board, right? And on our vision board, my husband has a BMW i8 on it. Now, the, co the color of the car that he has on the vision board is a purple BMW i8. And I'll see if I can insert a picture right here. It's a purple and black BMW i8. Now, the color of his his car right now is not purple and black it's it's black and it has like some little red trimming in it so red and black okay and so that was something that i was confused with about the law of attraction at one point because i was like does it matter about the color because some people say yes you want to be specific so you need to know what kind of color or or, or you know the interior the interior the exterior how you want it but my my husband has a purple and black on his vision board on our vision board but the car that he has is black and red and i don't think that it really matters because at the end of the day his plans are to wrap his car purple and black okay and the reason why i said that because at one point i was confused so like with my dream car I'm okay. Like I just, I just know that I want a 2000. That I desire to have a 2019 Chevrolet Tahoe Premier. Honestly, to me, it doesn't matter what type of color. Like, cause I like all of the colors. I've seen all colors of the the SUV, and I like all of them. So I will be grateful for whatever color. Like, that's not like, I'm, I'm. I will be grateful for any color. It does. The color absolutely does not matter. So if you are manifesting a car. And the color doesn't matter to you i would just say you know it does not matter what color the car is universe whatever color you see fit for me that is what i would accept you know say something like that but yeah guys like i said my husband he knew he knew he was going to get this car and then when we used to drive by the um car wash during the summertime he would say just he was like i could picture myself over there right now all eyes on me all eyes on me while i'm over there washing my car vacuuming my car out and i'm telling you guess what the other day when my husband went to the car wash he went over there to just do a um a quick vacuum he didn't wash it he just went over there to do a quick vacuum i wasn't i wasn't with him i was at home and when he came back he was like man i'm telling you he said i had all eyes on me at that um when i was over there um um vacuuming out my car he was like i had all eyes on me he said i even had people come over to the car and asking me what do i do you know and so it's so so that's why i say it is extremely important the things you say and the words you put out into the universe and the type of visions that you have because they will manifest you know my husband said he was like i can just picture myself over there at that car wash and guess what that vision came true he was at the car wash vacuuming out his car people coming up to his car all eyes on him so i'm telling y'all you guys can have literally have anything in this world that you desire to have i'm telling you you can have it you just have to believe that you can have it okay like it doesn't matter what situation you are in right now if you are in like if you're if you're if you're having money problems it's okay it's only temporary you can be about to get evicted from your apartment it's okay because guess what god has something else better for you so when things happen in your life that puts you in a depressed emotional state don't worry about it you, i mean i it's easier said than done i know but you have to but that's that's the point of working on your mind that's the point of working on your mindset that's the point of reading personal development books mindset books because when you read those types of books i'm telling you you will learn something and you will learn something every time when you can remain positive in the most effed up situations that is where you win i'm telling y'all that is where you win in life when you can remain positive in negative situations you will always win always 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 win and so if you are new to the law of attraction i'm telling you learn about it and like i said i'm still learning myself and that's why i don't have as many law of attraction videos up yet but i am i'm in a process of learning and like i said i want to make sure i know what i'm talking about before i come on video and talk to you guys about it and not only that i'm waiting until i manifest some things so that i can come on here and tell you guys the steps that i took in hopes that it inspire you guys to take the same steps and maybe it can happen for you 
and so right now I am currently working on testing out two things I'm manifesting two things right now and I'm and I'm going to let you guys know in future video what that is how things are going and I'm also documenting this journey so I'm writing down the things that happened on what specific days when I when I did the manifestation so I'm super excited about that and I'm super excited to come back and let y'all know how it's going so yeah I just wanted to come on here and I just wanted to um, get this video done because I have I supposed to have been done this video but I had other stuff that I had to do so I just wanted to come on here and my overall goal like I said this is not a bragging video or anything like this anything like that this is 100% a motivational video like I'm telling y'all from like after watching this video go create yourself a vision board um, follow the steps that I took work on your mind first thing work on your mindset especially if you are a negative person okay work on your mindset before you start these steps I promise you I promise you I promise you I promise you if you work on your mindset and if you follow these steps and if you don't quite understand, do some more research because there are a ton of research on the internet about the law of attraction. Do this, y'all. And I promise you, I promise you, you will you will manifest whatever it is that you want. My husband, we did our vision board in 2017 because that was the same time that we started learning about the law of attraction. We did that vision board in 2017. Here it is, 2019. And my, my husband has his um, dream car. So there are no limits. I don't care what it is. Do and do not think that what it is that you want. Do not think that it's too big. You can have it. Whatever it is, if you want a mansion, you guess what? You can have that mansion. You but you have to first believe that you can have it. You cannot expect the universe to give you something when you don't even believe that you can have it. You I'm telling y'all, start believing in yourself. Start knowing that you guys are worthy of whatever it is that you desire out of life i'm telling you so i know this video is probably super long right now so what i'm going to do right now um is i'm going to get out the car for a quick second and i'm just going to um show you guys really quick um how my um husband's car look and another thing y'all where i live this weather so i live in the state of washington and our weather is so crazy yeah, literally yesterday it was a beautiful beautiful sunny day outside today it's snowing we have snow out here y'all so let me show you okay so right now i'm about to get out the car and i'm about to show you guys how my husband car looks right now so give me one second okay you guys so this is my husband's car and i just wanted to come on here and show you guys that this is what you can get when you believe in yourself this is what you can get when you surround yourself with positive people this is what you get when you take action this is what you get when you let the universe know what you want this is what you get when you write things down this is what you get when you take action this is what you get when you trust the process this is what you get when you let go of resistance. This is what you get. Believe in yourself, you guys. Because just as well as my husband has this, you guys can have whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Now let me show you one last thing. I'm going to show you how the doors come up. So this is how it looks when the doors come up isn't that a beauty yes 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 so yes guys i'm back in the car now and i just wanted to show you guys that and like i said my overall goal is like i really really hope and pray that this video motivates you guys i'm telling y'all whatever it is that you want write it down let the universe know follow the rest of the steps that i stated do it and i'm telling like start with something small okay start with something small start with manifesting um yourself unexpectedly receiving ten dollars okay from an unexpected source okay just just or manifest someone telling you that they like your shirt like 
or manifest yourself seeing somebody with a, a lime green shirt on. Do little small manifestations like that because what will happen is when you see that those manifestations actually work, it'll build up your confidence to go ahead and manifest some of the big things in your life that you're desiring to manifest. So yeah, guys, I hope I'm spitting out the mouth. Guys, I hope that this video inspired you guys. If so, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions about manifestation, let me know. Whatever questions you have, let me know in the comment section below. And I will for sure uh, respond back to you guys as always. I really do appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel because it helps me out a lot. Uh, right now, um, I've been noticing that my subscriber count has been going up. So I'm, I'm extremely grateful for that. Um... My next goal is 500 subscribers, and then once I get to 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway, so I'm excited about that. But yes, guys, um, always, always keep your vibrations high. Don't let anyone tell you that your dreams are too small, okay? Dream big. Dream big. Always. And with that being said, guys, I will see you all in my next video.